हेलो फ्रेंड्स वाम वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो दैट इज बायोलॉजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो और फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ अ वीडियो ऑन नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन बायोलॉजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन अकाउंट्स फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द फिक्सेशन ऑफ एटमोस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन इनटू अमोनियम दस रिप्रेजेंटिंग द की एंट्री पॉइंट ऑफ मॉलिकुलर नाइट्रोजन इनटू द बायोजियोकेमिकल साइकिल ऑफ अ नाइट्रोजन फ्री लिविंग बैक्टीरिया और सिम्बैटिक बैक्टीरिया कैन कन्वर्ट एटमोस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन इनटू अमोनियम मोस्ट ऑफ द नाइट्रोजन फिक्सिंग प्रोक्रेट्स आर फ्री लिविंग इन द सॉइल आई मीन दीज आर द सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ फ्री लिविंग बैक्टीरिया एनामिना कैलोट्रिक्स नॉस्टॉक एजोस्पायरलियम एजेटोबैक्टर बेजेरन किया ड्रगजिया क्लेप्सिला क्लास्ट्रीडियम मिथेनोकोकस प्रोमेसियम रोडोस्पायरलियम All these bacteria are free living nitrogen fixing bacteria. This free living nitrogen fixing bacteria can be categorized into various group. The first group of free living nitrogen fixing bacteria is the cyanobacteria, which includes anabina, calothrix, or nostoc. The the another group is aerobic bacteria, which includes azospirillium, azotobacter, bacteria, tergia. Are they maybe facultative aerobic bacteria like bacillus or klebsiella? The anaerobic bacteria may fix nitrogen, which includes photosynthetic as well as non-photosynthetic bacteria. The non-photosynthetic bacteria includes Clostridium, Methanococcus, etc. Whereas the photosynthetic bacteria includes Promethium and Rhodospirillium. A few form of symbiotic associations with higher plants, in which the prokaryote directly provides the host plant with a fixed nitrogen in exchange for other nutrients and carbohydrates. Such symbiosis occurs in the nodules that form on the roots of the plant and contain the nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Common type of symbiosis occurs between several woody plant species such as alder trees and soil bacteria of the genus Franchia. Still, other types of plants like Gunnera and tiny water fern, Azolla, which form association with the cyanobacteria like Nostoc and Anabina, respectively. Paraspania forms. Association with Rhizobium, Cynothus forms association with Franchia, Gunnera forms association with Nostoc, and Azolla forms association with Anabina. The most common type of symbiosis occurs between members of the plant family Leguminosae and soil bacteria of the genera Azorhizobium, Bradyrhizobium, Photorhizobium, Rhizobium, and Cynorhizobium, collectively called as Rhizobia. These are the some plants which form symbiotic association with a rhizobium. Paraspinia forms association with a brady rhizobium. Soybean forms symbiotic association with a brady rhizobium japonicum. Alfalfa plant forms symbiotic association with a cyanorhizobium miliolity. Sesbinia forms symbiotic association with a azorhizobium. Bean forms symbiotic association with a Rhizobium leguminosarum and Eschimum aquatic plant forms symbiotic association with a photorhizobium. So these are some of the photos of rhizobium bacteria which forms the association with the various plant species. Because oxygen irreversibly inactivates the nitrogenase enzyme involved in nitrogen fixation, nitrogen must be fixed under anaerobic condition. Thus, each of the Nitrogen fixing organism either functions under natural anaerobic condition or can create an internal anaerobic environment in the presence of oxygen. In cyanobacteria, anaerobic conditions are created in a specialized cells called heterocyst. Heterocysts are thick walled cells that differentiate when filamentous cyanobacteria are deprived of ammonium. These cells lack photosystem second the oxygen producing photosystem of a chloroplast so they do not generate oxygen heterocysts appear to represent an adaptation for nitrogen fixation in that they are widespread among aerobic cyanobacteria that fix nitrogen cyanobacteria that lack heterocysts can fix nitrogen only under anaerobic condition such as those that occur in flooded fields in asian countries nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria of both the heterocyst and non heterocyst type are a major means of for maintaining an adequate nitrogen supply in the soil of rice fields these microorganisms fix nitrogen when the fields are flooded and die as the fields dry 
releasing the fixed nitrogen to the soil. Another important source of available nitrogen in flooded rice field is the water fern azolla, which associates with the cyanobacterium anabina. The azolla anabina association can fix as much as half kilogram of atmospheric nitrogen per hectare per day, a rate of fertilization that is sufficient to attain moderate rice yields. Free living bacteria that are capable of fixing nitrogen may be aerobic, facultative, or anaerobic. Aerobic nitrogen fixing bacteria such as Azotobacter are thought to maintain reduced oxygen conditions, that is, micro aerobic condition through their high levels of respiration. Others, such as Gloiothicuhol O2, photosynthetically during the day and fix nitrogen during the night. The faculty organisms, which are able to grow under both aerobic and anaerobic conditions, generally fix nitrogen only under anaerobic conditions. For anaerobic nitrogen fixing bacteria, oxygen does not pose a problem because it is absent in their habitat. The anaerobic organisms can be either photosynthetic like rhodospirillium or non-photosynthetic like a clostridium. Symbiotic nitrogen fixing procreas dwell within nodules, the special organs of the plant host that include the nitrogen fixing bacteria. In the case of Gunera, these organs are existing stem glands that develop independently of the symbol. In the case of legumes and actinorhizal plants, the nitrogen fixing bacteria includes the plant to form root nodules. Grasses can also develop symbiotic relationship with a nitrogen fixing organism. But in these associations, root nodules are not produced. Instead, the nitrogen fixing bacteria seem to colonize plant tissue or anchor to the root surface mainly around the elongation zone and root hairs. For example, the nitrogen fixing bacterium Acetobacter diazotropicus lies in the apoplast of the stem tissue in a sugarcane and may provide its host with a sufficient nitrogen to grant independence from nitrogen fertilization. The potential for applying azospirillium to corn and other grains has been explored but azospirillium seems to fix little nitrogen when associated with the plants. Legumes and actinorhizal plants regulate gas permeability in their nodules, maintaining a level of oxygen within the nodule that can support respiration, but is sufficiently low to avoid inactivation of nitrogenase. Gas permeability increases in the light and decreases under drought or upon exposure to nitrate. The mechanism for regulating gas permeability is not yet known. Nodules contain an oxygen binding heme protein called leg hemoglobin. Leg hemoglobin is present in the cytoplasm of infected nodule cells at a high concentrations that is 700 micromolar in soybean nodules and gives the nodules pink color. The host plant produces the globin portion of leg hemoglobin in response to infection by the bacteria the bacterial symbiont produce the heme portion. Leg hemoglobin has a high affinity for oxygen. Its Km value is about 0.01 micromolar, about 10 times higher than the beta chain of a human hemoglobin. Although leg hemoglobin was once thought to provide a buffer for nodule oxygen, recent studies indicates that it stores only enough oxygen to support nodule respiration for a few seconds. Its function is to help transport oxygen to the respiring symbiotic bacteria cells in a manner analogous to hemoglobin transporting oxygen to respiring tissues in animals. The symbiosis between legumes and rhizobia is not obligatory. Legume seedlings germinate without any association with a rhizobia and they may remain unassociated throughout their life cycle. Rhizobia also occur as a free living organism in the soil under nitrogen limited conditions. However, the symbiotic seek out one another through an elaborate exchange of signals. This signal links the subsequent infection process and the development of nitrogen fixing nodules involve specific genes in both the host and the symbionts. Plant genes specific to nodules are called as nodulin, which are represented by capital N and small o d. Rhizobial genes that participate in the nodule formation are called as nodulation genes which can be represented by 
small anode. The rhizobial genes that participate in nodule formation are classified as a common node genes or host-specific node genes. The common node genes include node A, node B, and node C. Whereas the host-specific node genes includes node P, node Q, and node H, or node F, node E, or node L. Differ among rhizobial species and determine its host range. Only one of the node gene, the regulatory node D gene, is constitutively expressed and its protein product capital NOD capital D regulates the transcription of the other node genes. In next lecture, we will see details of nodule formation and its biochemistry. Thank you.